Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video what we are going to see is how we can use multiple LLM models in our Spring Boot application. In the previous application we have seen that how we can use OpenAI LLM model to create a Spring AI application and we have also seen a different models as well to use in our Spring Boot application. We have seen that how we can use Gemini Vortex LLM models and we have also seen how we can use the Llama models in our Spring AI applications. For all of that the only change that we have seen is how we do the configuration and how the auto configuration works to create the LLM model object in our Spring Boot application. But as there are different capabilities of a different models, it is obvious that we use a particular model to get us a particular result for a different task. Suppose if I want to get a particular result regarding the code aspect, I want to generate some code based on the some input then it's probably more convenient that I use a cloud model Entropics cloud model. If I want to just use a question answer type of things then I can use OpenAI's model which is more able to understand a natural language of a user. If I want to do some searching then I can use Gemini's model. All different models have different capabilities based on their training right. So based on that training and the models capability we can internally decide that for this particular queries which model should I use. So it is okay and it is a really good practice to have a different models in your application based on the functionalities that you are providing. So that is something that we are going to see that if you want to use a multiple models based on the different queries that you have how you can configure in your Spring Boot application. So without any further ado let's create a Spring Boot application and let's configure different models in our application. So here what we have done is we have created a Spring Boot application here and I have gone to start.spring.io that is a Spring Initializer and what I will do is I will create the application here. Uh, so here you can see that the language I'm using is uh, Java and the pro project I'm using is Maven and the Spring Boot version is 3.4.1. I will add the project metadata information so let me just add it. So in the group name I will give as daily code buffer. The artifact name I will give as multiple LLMs. Okay and the description and the package name I will keep it as same and the packaging would be jar file and Java version as 11 sorry 21 which I have installed in my machine. Now as a dependency what I will do is I will add a web dependency because I want to create a Spring Web application and then what I will do is as I want to use multiple models I can add those multiple dependencies. So as I want to use OpenAI I can add the OpenAI dependency. You can see that this is a Spring AI support for ChatGPT, the AI language model and DALI the image generation model from OpenAI. So this is the same thing that we have done in the previous OpenAI videos as well. So this is what I am adding. So this is one of the model provider OpenAI. So this is one of the model that we are going to use. But I want to use any other model as well. I want to use Google's Gemini Vortex model. So I can add that as well. So let me just search for Gemini. And here you can see that this is the Vortex AI Gemini which says that it's a Spring AI support for Google Vortex Gemini chat model. So this is what I'm going to add. So yeah, you can see that I have added two models here OpenAI model and a Gemini Vortex model. Now in my application I have to configure that how I am using these models. So let's generate this application and open in IntelliJ IDEA. Hey everyone let's talk about something that we all deal with passwords. How many of you struggle to remember them or worse to reuse the same password for your personal and work accounts. If at least one account gets compromised it's game over. That's where NotPass comes in created by the minds behind NordVPN the world's leading VPN service. NotPass is an easy to use password manager designed to keep your business and personal accounts safe, secure and hassle free. With NotPass you can securely store your passwords, credit card details and even get a real time updates if your password is found in the dark web. You can safely share your credentials for autofill across your team members with just a few clicks without any hassle and without even sharing your actual passwords. It uses end-to-end -end encryption and zero knowledge architecture. So no one will be able to know your password until shared, not even NotPass themselves. It's super simple. Plus it also works across all your devices. Simple, secure and hassle-free. Use the code daily code at notpass.com to get a free three months of not pass business. Trust me once you try it and once you are used to it you will not go back to your sticky notes or emailing your passwords or keeping a note of your passwords. So stay secure and stay stress free with not pass. Go to notpass.com slash daily code. Now back to the video. So here you can see that I have opened the project that is multiple LLMs in IntelliJ IDEA 
and here what I can do is I can go to resources section okay and here is something that I have to add the configuration so let me just add the configuration for both of my models so what I'm doing is I'm adding the configuration for OpenAI so here you can see that I'm adding the open API key the organization ID project ID and the model that I'm going to use so once you log into the chat GPT the open AI's API you will get this information and this information you can see that I've added as a variable so I'm going to add using the environment variable so those variables are not exposed this is something that we have done in the all the previous videos of OpenAI you can refer to section as well how you can get the OpenAI keys but this is what I have configured so that whenever I am creating the OpenAI chat object chat model object then I will be able to to inject all of this and get the object of the OpenAI chat model. As I've added the dependency of the Gemini Vortex as well, let's add the configuration for that also. So for that, what you need to do is you need to log in to G Cloud in your system. So I've already logged in. You can see my previous video about the Gemini Vortex, how to log in and how to create your project. The same thing that we are doing. We are just adding the Gemini Vortex project ID and the location. Okay, the same thing I have added here and for rest of the things I will add in the environment variable. So now you can see that if I am creating the chat model for Gemini, this is what it will be injected. And if I'm adding the OpenAI, then this will be injected. Now what I have to do with this is I have to disable the auto configuration of the chat models because by default what Spring Boot will do is Spring Boot will do auto configuration and whatever the model is available, it will try to inject it. But I do not want to do that. I will create the models. I will create the classes by myself, beans by myself and that I will inject it. So I am adding as Spring AI chat client enabled as false. So by default, the auto configuration will not happen. And as a user, as a developer, you need to create the beans of it. So once this is done, you can see that the, all the configurations are done. So what I will do is I will try to run my project and I will add the configuration for this. So let me just do that. Let me just start my application. Okay, I have added the configuration for all these properties as well. Now what I will do is I will create a controller that will work with the OpenAI. So let's do that. So what I will do is I'll create a new controller. So let me just create a controller in controller package dot open AI controller. Okay, and for this I'm gonna add as a rest controller sorry rest controller and what I need to do is I need to have the object of the chat client so let me just add private final chat client okay and let me just add a constructor parameter okay and what I will do is I will try to create the uh, API as well. So let's build the API public string home API. And what I'm trying to do here is let me just do get mapping and this is open AI. Okay. And here what I'm going to do is I'm going to do chat client dot prompt dot call dot content okay and this is what i'm gonna return okay and with this prompt i'm gonna add a prompt as well that summarize open ai and its benefits it's a simple prompt okay let me just cool right so let me just start the application let's see how it works and here you can see that we are getting the error and it says that consider defining a bean of type chat client. Okay. And here you can see that I do not have any bean available of a chat client because I have disabled the auto configuration. Now I have to define a bean of a chat client that will use the open AI configuration, right? Currently it's not happening. The bean is not available. So I have to do that configuration as well. So let's do that config so that Spring Boot application will know that, okay, to create a chat bean with OpenAI configuration, this is what I have to use. So for that, let me just create a config class that will have that configuration for a bean. So I will just create a Java class in a config package and it will say that chat client config. Okay. And this should have a configuration. So for that, 
I need to annotate with at the rate configuration public which will return chat client and this will be open AI chat client okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define this as a bean and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add open AI chat model as an input okay so I'm gonna pass a model so what I'm gonna do with this model so this will return chat client dot create object using the model that I have provided okay so here you can see that now I've created the object of a chat client with the open AI chat model this is what a model I have injected here okay and this will create a bean of it and the name of the bean would be open AI chat client okay awesome so now this bean will be created and this bean will be injected so if I start my application here you can see that my application started because it has only one bean available and that bean is directly injected so I should be able to run so if I go to my browser and if I call localhost openai it should work and I should get the data from the openai model so here you can see that I am getting the data from the openai model okay awesome now let's go and add the another class that should be for my Gemini okay so what I will do is I'll create another controller okay so I'll create a new controller and that should work with the Gemini so let's create a new class and I'll just say Gemini controller okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing I'll just copy paste the entire code here okay because that's the same thing I want to do I'll go here and and I'll just change the constructor here okay so here you can see that I have just changed the constructor and I'm gonna do rest controller here as well so this is my entire controller as a Gemini controller which has a chat client and that chat client has been injected and the API is Gemini okay and that's gonna Gemini vertex AI and its benefits okay so it is going to summarize me Gemini vertex okay now let's restart my application so here you can see that your application started but we need to understand that still as we have created this Gemini API this is still not using Gemini model it is still using the open AI's model only because we have not defined a Gemini uh, model yet we have just defined only open AI in our configuration right only one model that we have defined so that's why it's only one bin been injected so if I run this let me just copy this and let me just run Gemini this should work with the open AI model for now okay so it should not complain it and it should work as it is which I wanted but now I want to add a new bin as well so let's do that so what I will do is in the chat line config I want to add a Gemini bean so I'll create a new method that is public and that's gonna return chat client as well and this is a Gemini chat client okay and this is also going to be my bean and here the model which I'm gonna use is a Gemini vertex model Gemini So it's a vertex AI Gemini chat model okay this is the model that I'm gonna use and I will return chat client dot create with the model that I have passed okay so now I have two beans which is of chat client and it has a two different names and it's injecting two different models okay now if I restart my application now spring it should gonna confuse itself that okay I have two beans available that is one is a open AI chat client bean which is using open AI model and the other one is a vertex Gemini chat model based on that chat client is created which one to use where so that we can do using the qualifier annotation okay so what I'll do is I will copy this and I'll go to open AI controller and when I'm injecting this chat client I will say that with qualifier 
inject open ai chat client okay and i'll copy this gemini chat model and i'll go to gemini controller and when i'm injecting chat client i will say that with qualifier that inject gemini chat model so now i have said to a particular controller that whenever you are using or whenever you are getting a chat client use a gemini chat client and for this i have said that use a open ai chat client so now two different models two different chat clients have been used at two different places as per my configuration okay now if i run my application both should be configured correctly my application should start as i'm expecting you can see that my application is also started now if i run my two apis both the api should run on the different models this open ai should run on open ai model and this gemini api should run on gemini model as per the expectations and i should get the proper data as well so you can see that for open ai i'm getting the data and for gemini also i should be getting the data here you can see that i have got the data so now you can see that two models with two different chat clients are been configured in my spring boot application to get me the separate data as per the configuration so this is how you configure your application to use multiple models and based on how the query and processing you want to do you can configure and you can inject those object according to the requirement okay so this is what i wanted to share regarding the multiple llm models in the spring boot application i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye